Hello, welcome to the Aura Workstations Mod Spotlight. This is a mod that adds a bunch of really cool automatic workstations to Fabric 119.2. And we're going to begin by doing something. And we're going to begin by actually spawning an Ender Dragon. Okay, so the Ender Dragon. The XP orbs are being put into here. And you see it says times 45. All right, so we put some glass bottles in here now. So she's going to create bottles of experience. Okay, so that gives us a bunch of bottles of enchanting. So most of the auto workstation blocks have got an iron and a gold version. Let's look at, uh, say, the gold versions. So here we have, because we started with the uh, gold auto experience orb vacuum. Gold auto... Uh, let's have a look at this then. So let's maybe craft some planks. So the recipe is this. And we're going to put in some logs. And you get a neat little... Obviously it would look maybe different with, without shaders, but it would still look pretty much the same. You just get like a neat little um, real world crafting thing happening. Uh, we could, I actually am curious to see what the netherite speed is like at this point. Uh, it looks like the auto crafter is the only one that's netherite. Yeah, a lot faster, basically. Basically, this one just does it almost a single tick, right? Let's try cooking with the auto phones then. Maybe put some coal in. And a little bit of what about some raw salmon now where this comes into its own is that we can actually put glass bottles up here you see it says t times 0.09 so it means you don't have to get the xp when you take it out the furnace which means of course you don't actually have to, to have it player operated so yeah all definitely gets more from it let's have a look how much ancient debris gets 0.83. There you go, bottle of enchanting. What about the auto enchanting table? How's that going to go? Well, let's take a look at the interface. Uh, this one, I believe, is where you actually use your bottles, right? So you can see we're putting in our levels. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we can enchant a sword then. And we'll put some lapis in there as well. I have a feeling though that what this is really meant to do is it's it's for factories more the way you have to do where you get a bunch of level one enchants. We've got the experience orb emitter. This is something you normally I think place a little bit higher up. So the emitter, I think, would be something like this. We put these guys in. Put maybe a few more in. So yeah, so that's another way if you want to just get the experience out of it in that manner. And then finally, we've got to the anvil and the brewing stand. Let's take a look at these two. So here is the anvil. So obviously, you're going to need to charge this up. Looks like an anvil goes in there. This is always the easiest way, isn't it? To, if you want to want to get some damage. Uh, so yeah, so this is broken, bro. Uh, for some reason, it shift clicks in there. I'm not sure about that. Let's try getting some planks. So if I wanted to rename the sword, uh, flower of Zadia leaves. I guess this makes sense, right? It's it's quite an interesting way of renaming stuff. Uh, finally, we've got the brewing stand. Uh, so let's have a look at this one. Uh, put some blaze powder in there. Uh, we'll put the nether wart in there. And I guess we just put water bottles in. Let's try that. That looks kind of fast. We'll do another one. Yeah, I really am just wanting to see what the textures look like. Glistering melon looks good, though. 
Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool as well. Just like a, uh, it will give you some cool stuff as well. So thanks for watching.